Hey yeah, Lottie here and today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different and that is doing a flip through of my bullet journal. I put a picture up of my bullet journal on Instagram and asked you guys if you wanted a flip through and I got a resounding yes so that's what I'm going to be doing today and first I'm just going to show you the cover as I did bind this all myself. Um, I do have a DIY on bookbinding in the comments below so if you'd like to see how I bound the pages um, just click on that link. Um, I do not have one on how I put the cover together or added the keys or elastic but if you would like to see a video on that let me know in the comments below and I'd be happy to do that for you guys. But this is the cover here and it's just um, scrapbook paper that I really liked. It's quite a uh, vintage looking which I love. And to add to that I added some vintage looking keys with some trim and also added this elastic closure just to keep it closed. This is my first ever bullet journal so I made a few mistakes at the start um, and this is just washi tape that I have on the spine as well. Um, but yeah. I did make a few mistakes as this is my first ever bullet journal. So there are some things at the back that should be at the front. Um, so once I get to my monthly spreads I will flip to the back and then go through the monthly spread. But that being said let's just get straight on into it. So when you open it up the first page you see has just got my name on it and a little banner. And then I've just cut out a piece from a adult colouring book. That I liked that I did um, so just to add a little bit of decoration and I just have the year and some doodles here and then I drew in a little book and I put my favourite quote in it which is by Bon Jovi and it's from the song Welcome to Wherever You Are and it's just when you want to give up and your heart's about to break remember that you're perfect God makes no mistakes and I just love that quote I have done for years and I love to read as well so that's why I popped it on a book then we're on to my month at a glance, eh, my year at a glance and I've just put in the whole year and I put that on um, square paper and cut it out and stuck it in and then my partner actually wrote in the months for me as I love his writing and that's just washi tape underneath um, and then I've just kind of scored out the days that are past, well I've still got to go back and do that for some of them but and then I had my birthdays over here and all I did for this was I drew 12 boxes and decorated them like birthday presents or presents anyway and then I just put in the people's birthdays for every month. Probably could be explaining this better but oh well. Then we have my months at a glance so I've got two pages for that and I just kind of doodled at the bottom. Um, I'm not very artistic but I really like how this turned out and then I also have my bills on a little flip out just so I can flip them out every month to mark them off as they're paid. And then I have my YouTube bucket list, which is basically what it says on the tin. Just any videos that I definitely want to get out this year, I will just list here. I do have some things covered up, and that's just because they're spoilers when it comes to my YouTube videos or personal. So this is my pre-recorded videos list, which pretty much every video I do is pre-recorded. So once I've added the links and got it uploaded on my YouTube feed, I put it in here so that I can make it public when I decide so that any videos that I haven't yet made public but are still completed and up on YouTube I know what they are from this view list. Then we have my year in photos which as you can see I'm not added to yet um, but I'm just going to add little passport size photos throughout this page um, uh, just to signify my year if anything fun happens or exciting or something that I just really want to remember I will pop it in here. Then we have my goals list, which I really like this page, it's one of my favourite pages in the book and it's just the goals that I have for this year that I'm hoping to complete this year. Then we go on to my movies bucket list, which is just basically every movie I want to see this year and I've just put them in this little um, film strip that I drew in. This took forever, <laughs> but I like the way it turned out and I've just put the movies in and I just um, colour them in as I see them. Um, so as you can see I've seen a couple so far. Then we have my to be read list. So basically if someone recommends a book to me or someone on YouTube recommends a book to me or just anything that I want to read but haven't bought, I will put it in here so that I know to go and buy it. And then this is my books I've read list. So basically I'm hoping to get back into a reading rhythm as I used to read at least a book a day. So 
due to my medication that I've been on, it's very hard to concentrate. So I'm just really hoping to get back into that mindset of reading, um, even though they've actually <laughs> doubled my meds, so that's not helping. But um, I'm really hoping that I will get back into reading as I love it. So I'm hoping to fill up this these two pages. So that's sort of a wee incentive page for me to get onto it, basically. And then we have my monthly spread. But before I get into that, I'm just going to flip to the back and show you what I've done there. So here is the back of my book. And I just have a little pocket here that I've made as well. So I've just got some important things that I need to remember for the month or the year tucked in this little pocket. If you would like a video on how I made this little guy, let me know and I will definitely do that for you guys. And then we have my YouTube year. So I've covered up a lot of this stuff as it's videos that I've either not made or made and they're just not out yet. And it's basically just my entire year mapped out and um, the YouTube videos that I would like to do. As you see, it can chop and change as a new product comes out that I want to try or I get a video request that will go in instead and some things will just get pushed back. Um, but so far, this is basically my rough layout of my YouTube year. So that's that page as well. Then we have um, important numbers and got these kind of covering it. Um, I'll just take these off actually. Addresses, personal, I like the fact that this flips out and just gives me that extra little bit of room. And then we have my passwords um, for personal and work, which I haven't filled out yet. And then we have my full face of page. So this is basically, I'm going to be doing different brands, full face makeup. And this is basically the brands I've got already. And I've got little lists of things I still need to buy. And then I just fill in them as I buy them. Um, as you can see, I've got a couple done. Um, so they'll be coming up soon. And I'm just basically making my way through it. And then I'll have like a full face of L'Oreal or Maybelline or something like that um, for my YouTube channel. And that's all that I have at the back. I would have liked to have these at the front, but I didn't think to do them in my journal until after I put in my monthly spread. So they've just gone to the back. So moving back to my monthly spread, I just have a picture here that I cut out of some scrapbook paper that I really loved. I don't know if you can see that as it's quite shiny, but it's just a little beautiful bird sitting on a twig with some weeds in the background and I think it's just beautiful. And then I have a quote here, um, I just a really nice quote that I found on Instagram and it just says two things, define you, your patience when you have nothing and your attitude when you have everything. And I just really liked that quote and it really spoke to me so I thought I'd pop it in. And that's one thing I'm going to try and do in month is put in a new quote um, at the start of the month. And then we have my March spread, which I really, really love. This was the first thing I actually drew for my bullet journal. And I love how it turned out as I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do here. And I just love this. I also have a little tab here that I made with some washi tape, just so that this page is really easy to find. And it just makes it really simple for when my book's closed. I can just literally grab it and flip it open. Then on my first page I have um, my important days and it's just a list really of the important dates throughout the month. I really like this when I first did it but I think it's not very functional as I don't have a lot of space like on the, the lines and stuff. A lot of stuff I've put down here and um, so I'll definitely be doing this differently next month. Then we have my monthly memories which is basically a memory in a couple of words which I actually found quite difficult. Um, so I won't be doing this next month, I think I'll just be doing a grateful page, so things I'm grateful for. Um, but I do have a lot of memories from this month, even though I haven't been very good health-wise. Um, so my friends came out and hung, up, hung, hung out with me. Um, my kids gave me some snuggles. We watched, we had a pyjama ramen night and watched Wonder Woman. Um, we actually managed to take my son swimming for the first time, which was actually really good for my stomach. Um, we busted out the PlayStation 2, played some Tomb Raider. Um, we had a snow day, which really didn't do anything on that. It was just that it snowed. Um, and obviously Mother's Day was this month as well. So a lot of great memories there. But I did find it quite difficult to do the whole memory in a couple of words. So I actually made another memories page at the end of this month. And that's probably how I'm going to stick to it from now on. And I do have a little ribbon here that I made when I was binding the book. But I don't really use it for this. It's just kind of tucked away. Then we have my YouTube video planner for the month. So I just have weeks one through four listed down here and they're just kind of like little envelopes. And then I have my idea dump, which I definitely need a full page for next time as I had about 20 sticky notes stuck over the top of this to make more room. 
then I also have my DIYs list so the ones that I still have to do as I tend to forget what DIYs I have coming up and forget to do them <laughs> so that's what this is and then I have um, some notes here from a review I did and then I have my links from one through five like for the weeks um, and what that is is basically I'll write down the videos that I made that week and if they have links to be added I need to add them before I can give them the yellow line basically and then they get moved over to my pre-recorded video list and I just have some cute little fairy well that's what we call them fairies um, I think it's called the dandelion um, down there and then I have my first weekly spread um, I really like this weekly sp spread rather it was very functional, very big boxes um, I managed to use it quite easily um, I've got some sticky notes just covering up some personal notes here and I have my little Dutch door, which I really liked. The only thing I didn't like about this was I had to cut out that page, which made the page further down a little loose, and I had to go back and sail tape it in. So I don't think I'll be doing the Dutch door like this again. And I just went back one day when I was really bored and stuck in some new washi tapes that I got, um, just for something to do. But yeah, really like this, and I have my next week here. Just the only thing I didn't like about it was the fact I had to cut the Dutch door out. But other than that, really loved the spread. And for the next uh, four weeks I actually did um, experimentations with the spreads just to find one that really suited me and I like this one as well. Um, I love the fact that it was decorated with washi tape for every day. Um, I loved the little, uh, it kind of reminded me of antlers even though it's branches. And again I had my next week but I had it facing that way so I had more room. And then I actually had my notes, well my notes and my filmings um, on a little card here from... Um, scrapbooking card and again just some random bits of washi tape uh, as I was bored that day. I think this is probably my favourite layout but I think it's more to do with the colours than the actual layout as I really liked the black and blue and red and yellow contrast together <clears throat> and again just some things are covered up and this does actually open up but I have some personal notes on the inside so I'm not going to show you guys but I love this Dutch door probably the best as it does give you that extra room for writing if you need it. Um, but yeah, I really like this and I have my notes and key here and filming and next week here as well. And then this is my last week's spread, which I tried to kind of have it so that I didn't have the Dutch door and I really, really do not like this at all. There's not a lot of space for writing. It's kind of squished together. It's obviously eliminated the need for the Dutch door, but I think I'm just going to leave the Dutch door in from now on as I really don't like that layout at all. If you guys have any ideas for me for layouts that fit on one page, please let me know in the comments as that would be very helpful and I would very much appreciate it. I like this page um, with the washi tape for my film and notes. And then I've got next week in key down the bottom. I ended up actually not using my key by this page. So I'm going to do a flip out key next month and see if that gets used. And if not, I'll just do away with it all together. Um, but by this page, I kind of just stopped using the key and just highlighting stuff in yellow that I wanted to remember. And then we're on to my monthly challenges. So I hadn't actually decided on whether or not I was actually going to do monthly challenges until I'd actually written my first weekly spread. So I ended up putting it at the back. But next month, I think I'll be putting it at the front. And I did two, months, two monthly challenges at first, which was the llama lettering and the oodles of doodles this is actually the november oodles of doodles as it's harry potter and i was desperate to do it and llama letters i actually find this quite difficult um, as you can see i've done some here but by this point i've only done them in pencil and i haven't went back over them yet as i was finding it really difficult to come up with different lettering styles for every thing that i was doing um, and it was just it took up a lot of time and i don't know if i'll definitely be doing it again but I'll see how I go next month and if I find it just as annoying, I'll probably just scrap it all together. The Oodles of Doodles challenge I finished in like three days. So I ended up making one up of my own, which was a Pokemon Doodles. Um, so I made that up myself and as you can see, I've moved on to my High Potter one here. I did put the four houses, um, the house crests on another piece of paper as I didn't have enough room. And I knew I wasn't going to have enough room, so I made them on a separate piece of paper, coloured them in and just stuck them on the back. Um, as this page was pretty unusable because of the bleed through on the other side. As you can see, I've just black and white it. I've got some grey through here as well. 
I absolutely love this page and I was very, very proud of myself for being able to do all these drawings as I really didn't think I was going to be able to. Um, but I'm really pleased with how it turned out. And then again, I just stuck on more paper as this page was pretty unusable as well. So I just stuck a sheet of blank paper on here and did my Pokemon one. I haven't actually finished this one yet, but I'm hoping to finish it soon. I think I've got about seven left to do and then I'm done. And then this is my new monthly memories spread that I'm going to be sticking with. So this is just sort of like a catch up journal of the month. And then in here I have sort of like a scrapbook page. So I've just kind of put stuff together from the month. So I managed to go and see Tomb Raider with my friends. Um, so I've put that in. And then I've got bits here for photographs um, that I haven't been able to get out and print off yet. And then this actually comes out and it's a page from my Mother's Day card, the page that's got the writing on it from my kids, so my kids' names basically, and that just tucks in there with a bit of washi tape. And I also have a drawing that my daughter did, um, just saying Happy Mother's Day, and she actually drew my favourite animal, which is an orca, and a wee love heart for me, which I just love. Um, so I've just got that tucked in in a little pocket, if I can get it closed again. So I have that little pocket here that holds that. And I also have this little ribbon here that's from my Mother's Day card as well. And my daughter started the football club, so I've got that tucked in. And that's from my Mother's Day card as well, so are these little guys here. Geek Gear sent me a gift this month, so I popped that, my Hufflepuff crest in there from them. And then it just closes with a little tie, which I love. Um, so yeah, that's probably the memory spread I'm going to stick to from now on as I really love how it's turned out and that's pretty much it I haven't done anything else yet um, but if you would like to see a flip through of next month let me know and I will definitely show you guys and I really hope you liked this video and if you did please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe below and to hit that little bell so that you get notified every time I put a video out which I do every Tuesday and Friday and I'll hopefully see you next time bye